located at 100 South Broadway, Yonkers, New York, 10701. Our office hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. Please listen to the following options. For traffic matters, please press 1. For civil matters, please press 2. Good morning. This is Professor Solange Martinez. I'm just calling to confirm a fax that was faxed to Josh in law um, and uh, that you should have because I have the receipt uh, here uh, showing that um, your fax received it. It's from Luisa Oyarsson. Is it a case that was on today or? Uh, no, a case was supposed to be on on December 1st, uh, I mean the December 21st. Uh, 2015, of course, but um, the lawyer for Cornell Pace, uh, the landlord, called elderly disabled citizen Luisa Oyarsson and canceled the, the date because supposedly he needs a witness. I answer the index number and it would be a little easier for me to locate it. The index number is 624215. Okay, and this is a landlord tenant? Yes. Okay, one moment, please. Okay, Louisa. Oh, Yarson. Okay, so it's on for January 11, 2016. At what time? At, uh, let me see. At 2 p.m. Uh, she won't be able to uh, go to the 2 p.m. because she's unaware of what's going on uh, that late. I uh, called the um, attorney, Mr. Castellanos, and he uh, was told, uh, informed uh, of the illnesses that Luisa Oyarsson has and asked, and asked uh, that the hearing be in the morning. Otherwise, she won't be aware of what's going on around her. Somebody sending something else in to put it on in the morning? Um, I can send uh, the judge uh, the um, uh, disability letters that uh, the uh, doctors have given her so he can see her illnesses. But, I mean, why can't she be here in the afternoon? Because I think why they put this trial on in the afternoon is that this way the person doesn't have to wait or anything if they put it on in the morning. You might have to wait, you know, until there's time available and to get rid of the other case. And this way this case is on by itself. So there's no other cases on at 2 o'clock. Yes, uh, that's the problem that at 2 o'clock she's going to be too tired because she has had two cancer operations. Uh, she has multiple sclerosis, osteoporosis, two leaking heart valves, three stomach ulcers, ulcers, a severe back injury, okay, and also... So who, uh, how are you related to him? Uh, to her. It's Luisa Oyarsson. I'm the caretaker, Solange Martinez. I informed this to uh, the attorney, uh, and he precisely... We received the facts today for this, right? Yes, you received the facts okay. today. Hold on, hold on. Facts. The, the problem is that, I mean, they'll find out if it's possible, but if you don't do the 2 o'clock, you put it on for 11 o'clock, and, um, you know, if... 11 o'clock is fine. Yeah, but what I'm explaining to you is that if you put it on for 11 o'clock and it's a busy calendar and then court is over at 1230, 1240, and they don't get to the case, then it has to be adjourned again. At least if it's on for 2 o'clock, you're guaranteed that they're going to hear the case. Yes, the problem is that at 2 o'clock he's not going to be aware of, of what's yes, going on. Yes. So. And, all right, well, then, then I, just, I just wanted to explain, you know, the difference why they did that. So, okay, well, she'll give the, you know, they, they will, uh, they have the facts, and I'm sure that somebody will get back to you shortly about it, okay? Yes, and also, um, can you send her something in writing? Because the last time that she went, uh, the first time that she went, they told her to come back the 21st, but nothing was in writing, so no documentation was done regarding this case. If the person is physically here, then we just tell them. If they send a letter or something, then 
we would send back a letter with the new date. Perfect. Uh, when is she going to receive the letter? And letters were sent out with this, too. Oh, okay. Was well, it today? Because it takes uh, two business days to get here if it's within the same county. They were mailed on the 11th. On the 11th? Today is the 7th, I mean, the uh, 14th, I mean, the uh, uh, 18th. Okay, it took... Well, she hasn't received anything. It's been five days. It's within the same uh, city, city of Yonkers. It's supposed to be get here at uh, within one business day. Today is Friday. So if it was mailed in the 11th, she was supposed to have it on the 12th, but she hasn't received anything. Right. But you still want to change this date anyway, right, January 11th? Yes, because at 2 o'clock she won't, she won't know what's going on, trust me. Okay, hold on one moment. Thank you. Well, the uh, court clerk told me to uh, CC uh, Luisa Oyarzon, CC Castellano, and uh, send a letter to the judge. The court. Hi, this is Professor Somash Martinez again. I'm sorry. I forgot to ask you, should I fax the uh, um, uh, judge-in-law uh, telling him that uh, she needs a, a court date uh, in the morning, not in the evening because of her um, uh, physical uh, problems, yeah, health problems? Well, that's what you told me, yes. Yes, and also uh, fax the uh, attorney and the landlord or just the uh, judge and the attorney? Oh, not the landlord, okay. How many people are on this? Uh, well, just uh, Ms. Oyarsun. Uh, okay, all you have to do is, is fax Mr. Castellano, nobody else, because he's representing the landlord. Oh, okay, okay, I understand right. that. Okay, yes, you're right. Alrighty. Thank you so much.